doing React from the beginning. So this is React for beginners, meaning if you don't know anything about React, this is a safe place for you. And the requirement for this course is that you would have already doing HTML, you are comfortable with CSS and same with JavaScript. So those three technologies are actually required in order to be able to understand this course. You have to know HTML, CSS and JavaScript to an extent. React.js, often simply referred to as React, is an open source JavaScript library for building user interface, which is also known as UIs, and single page application. React is particularly well suited for building interactive and dynamic user interfaces. It follows a component-based architecture, which means that you can create reusable UI components and compose them to build complex user interfaces. These components can be thought of as building blocks that encapsulate both the UI and also the logic associated with it. The question is now like, why do I need React? Why do I need to do React? What's, you know, what's the big deal about React? You know, why do I need React in my life? Uh, number one is component-based architecture. React encourages development of reusable UI components. The modular approach makes it easy to maintain and scale applications. A developer can easily create, they can test, they can reuse components across applications, which leads to code reusability. What that means in a nutshell is that if you have one component that you've created, it can be used in several places in your project. And you fixing or amending that component makes it available in every other place and makes your whole life easy. So you don't need to worry about duplicating codes up and down when you have this approach of the fact that it's component-based. The next advantage of why you should you know, consider React is the fact that it has a virtual DOM. React Virtual DOM effectively updates and renders components by minimizing direct manipulation of actual DOM. You guys remember the DOM manipulation we did in JavaScript and the fact that we have to create those DOM and then use them. So in case of React, it's virtual, meaning it's kept in memory, it's not on the document, it's not on the um, HTML page. It's easier to manipulate when it's virtual. You know, React calculates the difference between the virtual and actual DOM and updates only the necessary parts leading to improved performance and a smoother user experience. That's the difference you know you will get when you use React over your own native DOM manipulation. Then we also have this JSX. What is JXS? You know, don't bring another one again. JXX allows developers to write HTML-like code within JavaScript. So I'm sure you are familiar with JavaScript and HTML. JXX is a combination of those two guys. This makes the components well-structured and more readable. You can easily read the JavaScript parts and also read the HTML parts. You are going to see code samples and it will give you an idea of what we're talking about. And from the screen, you can see how it should look like or how it will look like. This gives you an example of what GXX is supposed to feel like when you are coding it. The next part, which is also pretty sweet, is the fact that React has a very large community. You know, React has a vast and active developer community, which means there are numerous resources, libraries, and third-party tools available for you to make use of compared to the fact that there are millions of people already doing React. So whatever challenges you are going for or whatever solution you are looking for, it's already done in React. Finally, we have it backed by a powerhouse. It's backed by Meta, well known as Facebook. So React is developed and maintained by Facebook, which means it benefits from ongoing supports. These guys are going to support React for as long as you can imagine because Facebook is also built on React. Uh, most of their product is built on React. So we don't see React dying anytime soon. So it's something you can invest in. So an advantage to know that this React you are learning now is not going anywhere. Okay, now that we've talked about the advantages of the fact that, you know, I've tried to convince you that this course is for you, that you need to do this course. Let's see how we can set up the environment and then use React as it is. In order to set up the React environment for you to use, there are a couple of things that you need to put in place and you need to start check marking all these things and make sure that you have those things set up. First of all is VS Code. We're all good with that. Everybody has VS Code installed. We're good and fine. 
The next thing you require, even though it is not strictly required, but for this training that we are doing, we will require you to have Node.js. There will be another video for Node.js details, but this video here is for React. So, so to download Node.js is pretty simple. For Windows users, this is the procedure. Come to the site, even though it's saying for Mac, for Windows, it will show Windows. I'm using a Mac, that's what I'm saying in Mac here. For Windows users, click on the file, download it, and follow through with the installation. Once you are done with the installation, you will need to go to the terminal to verify that your installation was successful. So go to your terminal and type npm-v. What that does is that it will just give you the version of the npm you are using, just to make sure that you have npm or node.js installed on your system. So you can just run this command, you can run node-v and it should give you the version of the node you have installed or you can do npm-v. This is Mac, I'm seeing this, but once you get it installed on Windows, you should be seeing something relatively friendly. So the next thing we have on our list of requirements that we need to get on our system is Vite. Vite as it is, you can see from the site, it says the next generation front end tooling. So it's a tool that you will need to make your development fast, easy, and stress-free. So one of the ways to install this is to bring up your terminal here. We already have our terminal open and I'm going to run some pretty, you know, set of commands. And you can also follow the setup from their site. So if you go through the site, you can see how to set up Vite from their site. So I'm going to run it from my end here so that you're going to see the process. To install Vite, we open our terminal. In our terminal, we locate the folder where we want our project to sit in. In this case, I'm using Lessons. So I enter the Lessons folder and I do npm create Vite at latest. Then I decide my project name, which is for this case, I'll do my project. I do that, I click enter. The next thing allows me to specify framework. We have quite a lot of framework. We are focused on React right now. So I select framework and then it's asking me for the variant of um, code I want to be writing. We are dealing with JavaScript. I select JavaScript and then we are done. It creates that folder and initializes it for Vite for me. You know, it's a tooling system. So it initializes it. The next thing we want to do is that we want to now enter our my project folder that we created because when we go in there, there are quite a lot of things we need to be doing. We need to be able to install Node itself because we need Node for the requirements. So I cd into the folder, then I run npm install. What that does is it installs Node.js in our application. So wait for that to finish running. It might take a little bit longer, you know, depending on the speed of your system. The next thing and final thing we need to do now is to do npm run dev. What that does is that it turns that thing into a um, server whereby it can serve our code and then you can see it live. So let's see what the initial template looks like, what Vite you know, has done for us. We've not done anything, we've not learned anything yet, it's just setting up our, env our environment. If you can set this up on your own, it means we are good to go on the next class. So let's see what we get to see here. So when we run that code there in the URL, what that gives us, it gives us this sample site that Vite has designed to work with React. This is sample. And by the way, the next class is going to show you what else we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking it one after the other. We've not done any coding. This is just introducing you to React. And we are going to be using this to design Process Guy website. Thank you for staying to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on bell notification in order to be notified when we release new videos. See you in the next one.